This is a tutorial on solving quadratic equations by factoring. Before we can learn how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, we need to learn about the zero product property. Now remember, if you multiply any number by zero, that's always equal to zero. So if you have four times zero, that's equal to zero. Well, the same thing works with polynomials and binomials. If we have these two binomials, x minus four, and that's multiplied by x plus two, then the zero product property tells us that if we want this multiplication to equal zero, then we can treat these two binomials separately. We can set x minus four equal to zero, and we can set x plus two equal to zero. Now if we do that and solve for x, we would add four to both sides on this equation, end up with x is equal to four, and we would subtract two from both sides on this equation and end up with x is equal to negative two. Now we've just solved for x values that will make this entire expression equal to zero. If I plug in x is equal to four in this equation, this binomial will equal zero. This one will equal six. And I'm multiplying zero times six. Well, that's still equal to zero. If I take negative two and I plug that one in, this binomial will end up equaling negative six, and this one will end up equaling zero. And if I multiply negative six times zero, I still get my zero. So the way the zero product property works is, you're taking each term in parentheses, or each binomial, and you're setting it equal to zero individually, because these terms are all multiplied together. So as long as one of them equals zero, it doesn't matter what the other ones equal, because you're multiplying them all by zero. So let's see how we can use this to solve a quadratic equation. Here we have y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now when we solve a quadratic equation, we're looking for x-intercepts, or when y is equal to zero. So if we set y is equal to zero, we get x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to zero. Now I can factor this x squared minus 2x minus 8 to x and x, and then a minus 4 and a plus 2. So here again I have two binomials multiply together and that's set equal to zero. So I can treat these separately. I can set x minus four equal to zero and x plus two equal to zero. If I do that for this first equation I'll add four to both sides and I'll get x is equal to four. For the second equation if I subtract two from both sides I get x is equal to negative two. So my solutions then are x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2. Now if we look at the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8, here we have x-intercepts at negative 2 and positive 4, which is exactly what we got when we factored this and then used the zero product property to find values of x that make this equation equal to 0. Now again, x is equal to four doesn't make both binomials equal to zero. It just makes one, and then that makes all the other binomials multiplied by zero. So lastly, let's factor and solve this equation. Y is equal to two x squared plus seven x plus five. Now when we solve a quadratic, we set y equal to zero. So this is two x squared plus seven x plus five is equal to zero. And now I have to factor this two x squared plus seven x plus five. Well, my factors of my leading coefficient are two and one. And the factors of my constant term are just five and one. So this is gonna factor into a two x and an x, or a one x. And then to get seven in the middle, this will be two x plus five and x plus one. Now remember, this is all equal to zero. So I, here I have two x squared plus seven x plus five in a factored form. 
And since it's set equal to zero, I'm gonna use the zero product property and set each one of these binomials equal to zero. If I do that, I'll have two x plus five is equal to zero and x plus one is equal to zero. Now for this first equation, I'll subtract five from both sides. I get two x is equal to negative five. Divide by two on both sides and I get x is equal to a negative five halves. For our second equation here, I just subtract one from both sides and I get x is equal to negative one. So these are the solutions or the zeros, or sometimes they're called roots, of y is equal to 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. Now, you can check these answers by just plugging in the x value into this equation. If y is equal to 0, then you were successful. Let's plug in x is equal to negative 1 and see what happens. We'll have y is equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 7 times negative 1 plus 5. Now, negative 1 squared is a positive 1, and multiply that by 2, and you just get 2. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, and then plus 5. 2 minus 7 is a negative 5. Add 5 again, and you end up with y is equal to 0, which is what we were looking for. So negative 1 is a solution. So just by plugging in these x values, you can double check your work. But again, to solve a quadratic equation, you don't have to graph, just factor it if you can, and then set each factor equal to zero using the zero products property. And that completes the tutorial on solving quadratic equations by factoring.